Good morning, student. Myself Melissa Akla, and uh, in today our subject design of bristles concrete structure. We solve the example of torsion. Okay. Before solving the example, we understand some equation. Shear stresses in member due to torsion. Because of torsion, there are shear stress induced in different type of section. Different. Okay. So one by one we discuss the equation. Now in first one. Name of section. Second one is the shape of sections, and here the equation of maximum shear stress. Now first we discuss circle. This one is the figure of circular section, and maximum shear stress. That means tau max is equal to 16 t pi d cube, where t is equal to twisting moment, torsion, and d is equal to diameter of shaft. For rectangle section. With B and H height, and equation of this rectangle section is equal to T alpha B H square, where alpha is varies from point two zero eight to point three three, as B versus H varies from one to infinity. Flange section. This one is the width of flange, depth of flange, width of web, and depth of web. Here the equation for T section is three torsion T I divided by sigma B I T I cube, where T I is T one or T two and B I is B one or B two. Okay, here we can take T I as T one or T two and B I as a B one or B two. Okay, now. Last section is our box section, and outer here the width is B and H. Now equation of maximum shear stress is equal to T divided by 2A T I, where area is equal to B into H. This one is the box section. Now we solve example number one. Before starting the example, read the given data. A pretension girder of T section having Flange 200 mm width and 60 mm thick. Web is given 660 mm depth and 60 mm thick. Now horizontal stress at point 300 mm from the soffit that means bottom of the beam. 10 newton per mm square. Shear stress due to transverse loading is 2.5 newton per mm square. And section is subjected to torque 2 kilo newton into meter. Determine the principal stresses, tensile stresses with or without torque. Here we find out two torque principal stresses with and without. Now equation of principal tensile stress without torque is given by F minimum F x by two minus one half under root of F x square, then plus four tau v square is equal to. Here f x is given 10. Okay, this one is given in data that is 10. Then f uh, tau is given 2.5. Shear stress is transverse loading. An answer here we get minus 0.6 for negative, so it is considered as a tension. Now shear stress due to torque at the center of web. Now we find out due to torque and for rectangle section our equation is given 3. T T I divided by sigma B I T I cube. Okay, now three and T is equal to torque. Torque is given two and T I is equal to sixty. That is first one flange sixty thickness. Now here we take a sigma so B I T I cube first B I six two uh, hundred and T I cube that means sixty cube. Next, we discuss for web, and web is given six hundred, okay, and uh, ti cube that is sixty cube. From that, after calculating, answer is two point one newton per mm square. Okay, this one is the shear stress for rectangle section. Now, total shear stress we get here two point five plus two point one four point six newton per mm square. Okay, this one is two point one and two point Five that is given in data, and finally we get answer 4.6 newton per mm square. 
Now principal tensile strain with torque is given by F minimum is equal to 10 by 2 minus 1 half Fx square plus 4 tau V square and that is 4.8 square and again answer is minus 1.8 tension. Now increase in principal stress due to torque 1.8 minus 0.6 1.2 newton per mm square ok first we get here 0.6 and when it is subjected to torque our answer is minus 1.8 both values are minus so here we take a difference and this is 1.2 newton per mm square next example a pristress concrete beam of rectangle cross section 300 mm by 600 mm is subjected to pristressing force 150 kilo newton acting at eccentricity of 140 mm and the bending moment is 60 kilo newton into meter Twisting moment is 18 kN into meter. Calculate the maximum principal tensile stress at the section and take torsion constant alpha is equal to 0.246. Now first of we find the area 300 into 600, 180,000 mm square, inertia BD cube by 12, 5.4, 10 to 9 mm raised to 4. Now when beam is subjected, combined torsion and bending principal tensile stress will be maximum at the middle bottom phase and it is considered as a critical point ok here is shear stress due to torque at the bottom of the rectangle section tau f is equal to t divided by alpha b h square where t is equal to given 18 kN into meter alpha 0.246 into 300 into 600 square answer is 0.68 newton per mm square now compressive stress due to pristressing force at the bottom of the beam is fb is equal to direct stress p by a plus bending stress m by z eccentricity is given 140 mm and z is equal to i by y so simply put the values that we find out and after that we get bottom fiber stress is 1.99 newton per mm square and that is compressive now we find out tensile at the bottom of beam due to bending moment and m by z m is equal to 16 to 10 is to 6 and z is equal to i by y and answer is 3.3 .3 newton per mm square okay resultant direct stress bottom we get 1.99 minus 3.3 .3, okay this one is 1.99 compressive and this tensile force we consider as a negative so net answer is minus 1.34 newton per mm square principal tensile stress is at the bottom equation is fx by 2 minus 1 half under root of fx square plus 4 tau square minus 1.34 by 2 we recently find out 1 half then minus 1.34 square plus 4 and tau is equal to 0.68 square and after that we find minus 1.62 newton per mm square this is the principal tensile stress at the bottom now next we discuss the design for combined shear and torsion now we design pistis concrete beam for shear and torsion both and for that first of all we apply the longitudinal reinforcement and it will be given in IS 1343 2012 close number 23.5.3 and here we find out first ME1 that is the summation of M plus MT now what is M? M is equal to apply ultimate moment acting combination with torsion now MT is equal to T under root of 1 plus 2D by B and sign of this MT being same as M D is equal to overall depth of beam, B is equal to width of member which for T and member shall be taken width of web that is BW. When the numerical value of M is less than of this MT, the member shall also be designed to withstand a ME2 moment and this ME2 is equal to MT minus M. Okay, this is the condition when our M is less than MT. Now, moment ME2 is taken 
as acting opposing sense of moment m next m3 we find out third moment that is empty 1 plus x1 divide by 2e square 1 plus 2b by d and 1 plus 2d by b and acting about an axis at right angle to axis of m x1 is the smaller dimension of closed loop and eccentricity e is equal to t divided by v t is torsion and v is shear force now we apply transverse reinforcement Pre-stress mean the horizontal pre-stress reduces the effective torsion moment and shear. Reduced torsion moment is carried by concrete T E one, and this equation T E one is equal to T E E divided by E plus E C. Now T E is equal to sigma point fifteen b square d one minus b divided by three d delta v under root of epsilon k. Okay, now E is equal to T by v. EC is eccentricity of concrete that is TC by VC, and delta V is equal to one plus twelve FCP divided by FCK, where TC is equal to torsion moment carried by concrete, B is equal to width of member, D is equal to overall depth of beam, T is equal to torsion moment applied to cross section under the ultimate load condition, V is equal to shear force. and vc is the theoretical shear strength of cross section similar to vco and vcr given clause number 23 4.1 and 23 4.2 now next this is the shear strength theoretical shear strength depend upon grade of concrete shear force carried by concrete is vc1 vc1 is equal to vc into e plus ec And VC is smaller of this VCO and VCR. Design of transverse reinforcement. First, we find out area of stirrups MT into SV divided by 1.5 B1 D1 F5. SV is the spacing of stirrups, and B1 is the center to center distance between corner bars in the di direction of width. ASV is equal to AV plus 280. Then AV is equal to V minus VC one into SV point eighty seven F I D one and AT is equal to T minus T C one into SV point eighty seven F I B one D one. This one is the equation of AV and AT and given in code. Now we provide minimum reinforcement and this minimum reinforcement is ASV divided by BSV equal to point four. Divided by 0.87 F5. Here, longitudinal bar not less than 12 mm in diameter in each corner of stirrups. Okay. Now, in next session we solve the example of torsion design. Okay. Just now we stop.